It was a nationwide adoption fraud scheme first exposed by the seven investigators. A Macomb County mom is now serving a federal prison sentence after the feds say she duped people across the country out of babies that did not exist. But even though Tara Lee is now behind bars, her victims say they're upset about what she's still been doing. Seven investigator Heather Catalo has the story for us. After a federal judge sentenced Tara Lynn Lee to 10 years in federal prison, the dozens of couples who'd traveled across the country to face her in court back in 2020 said they finally felt vindicated. It felt like he understood what we went through and how terrible everything has been. The feds say Lee took in $2.1 million as part of a nationwide adoption fraud scheme that impacted 160 couples in 24 states. Lee admitted she made up fake birth moms and told adoptive couples that babies had died when they never existed. But now many of those couples who lost thousands of dollars in the fraud scheme say they feel like Lee isn't really being punished. It's just like a kick in the gut for all of us, all the families, over and over and over again. Lee's victims got upset after they discovered that the mother from New Haven was on this prison pen pal website. Oh, I'm angry. I think it's just another way for her to manipulate people. I, I think she can absolutely uh, still get money through pen pals. Courtney uh, Edmond and Teresa and Mike Matheny the say they right. feel like all of the extra punishments Judge Bernard Friedman heaped on Lee as part of her sentence have not been honored by the Bureau of Prisons or BOP. Friedman had requested that she go to a maximum security prison, but the BOP has the ultimate say and is holding her in a low security facility. The judge also required her to read all of the victim impact letters from the case into a recording device. That wasn't done either until the seven investigators started asking about it last February. That process was not completed until September. What was the point of any of this? If she can still do what she is doing from prison, it's not she obviously isn't going to stop. Even though Lee's judgment states the court feels she is dangerous to staff and inmates based on her history of lies, deceit, manipulation with no remorse, Bureau of Prisons officials say pen pal programs are allowed. He wanted no situation where she could manipulate or, you know, scam any other people. And I feel like this is just another way for her to do that. After the seven investigators inquired about Lee's pen pal profile with the website's creators, they told us Lee had decided to remove the profile. Lee's lawyer also told us no pen pals sent her money. And if any were going to, the funds would be used towards Lee's one million million dollar restitution for her victims. Tara Lee is now trying to have her conviction set aside, alleging her first three lawyers were deficient during her plea agreement and her sentencing. Federal prosecutors have until December to respond to Lee's claims. At the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.